Right, so we've got the e Eosheen E58 pocket drone, and this is one of the foldable ones, which looks pretty much identical to a Mavic Air. So you've got the foldable legs here. The propellers, I think, are also foldable, although they might be fixed, I'll have to see. And yeah, it looks pretty simple. It's a very small box, considering how big it looked online. But we got pretty standard features like Wi-Fi, there's an app that goes with it, gyroscope, uh, 360 gyroscope, yeah, HD camera. So yeah, let's just get it open to start with. Instruction manual. And then this is the drone. It's definitely a lot smaller than it sort of appeared online, but it's sort of like a mini Mavic type shape. The propellers are foldable, so that's quite interesting. And then you've got a controller here. Now, according to other reviews I've seen of this, the antennae here, they're actually not real uh, working antenna, I think they're just for show. But then you've got a nice controller, it feels really nice in the hands, like this. But then instead of the fold out things like with the DJI drones, you've got uh, a pull down thing here, which is to hold the phone. So that's quite nice. You've got then one key takeoff, one key landing, and the trims and everything. It's a very standard controller. I don't know what these buttons do here. Um, but again, according to other reviews, these start and stop the video. I'm not sure if they're gonna work. This is the actual drone itself. I like that they've pulled the antennae through the casing here. A lot of them don't do that and it limits the range, so I end up just doing it myself anyway, but that's pretty cool. And then I assume you just pull these down like you would with the Mavic. I like that they've allowed you to sort of change the angle of the camera here. Obviously it's a manual one, it's not a gimbal like the Mavic would be, but it's still pretty cool. You've got the landing gear and then the battery in here, which I assume just pulls out. The cool thing about this one is you can actually charge this um, with a micro USB, so that's really useful. They're actually giving you some more sort of landing gear here, or these might be propeller protectors, I'm not quite sure. And then spare two spare propellers and a screwdriver and micro USB charger. And that's pretty much all we can say about the drone at the moment until we charge it up and take it for a flight. So overall the drone, if it actually flew pretty well considering the size and it's one of the beginner sort of drones that you can get on Amazon and things like that. It did fly really well. The controller I have to say was a bit hard to use. The thumbsticks tend to sort of slip off uh, my fingers quite a lot compared to the other ones which sort of grip your fingers with the spiky, uh, the spiky bits on the top. But uh, I have to say, we crashed this a bunch of times and none of the propellers have broken whatsoever. Um, especially considering that this is quite a, uh, quite a lightweight drone. None of the propellers broke, which I, I would have expected them to, at least you know a couple of them snap off, especially crashing into the window and the wall and everything. Um, but yeah, it flew really well, really stable in the air. And uh, we flew it outside, we didn't actually film the, uh, the outside flight, but it did really well. So yeah, if you enjoyed this review, go and leave a comment and a like and check the link in the description.